Hey guys, I'm back with another review for you guys today. Um, this hair is from DY Hair 777. Um, I got Peruvian Loose Wave in the lens 18, 20, and 22. But um, I like have this cut in layers, so I ended up cutting it a lot. So this is probably like the length of like the 18 probably. Like I cut, I actually cut it a lot. Like I had my aunt cut it a lot. Um, oh, and the frontal that I got is 12 inches, and this is it here, pretty much. It's really pretty, like a really, really pretty curl. Um, so yeah, I cut it a lot. Um, I just washed it, so this is the natural state of the hair. Like this is, this is all of it. It looks a little thin right now, but that's just because, um, it's still really wet, so after it dries and it like kind of gets whatever um and the only thing I put in it is coconut oil I like to um, use all natural products in my units so I used um, sulfate free shampoo and conditioner and then I just put oils in it um, I'll, I'll use um, coconut oil and then sometimes olive oil if I don't have coconut oil but coconut oil is usually my go-to um, oil um, I did not seal my wefts. I never have. I just, I don't know. I just never seal my wefts. I don't really, it's not that I don't know how because like I've seen videos on it, but I just don't, I just haven't done it. Okay. Um, and yeah, but I didn't have any shedding when I washed this hair. And I usually don't when I get units from them, especially like within the first um, month, I never get any shedding. And it's, it's been two weeks that I've had this hair in. And this is a unit, by the way, like a U-part wig. And then I sewed it on to the edges of the hair, so of, of my hair. So I don't know. When I did the actual sew-in, for some reason, um, when I took it out, I just had so much breakage. I think it's because um, my braids were too small and... The hair was heavy because I put a lot of bundles on like tiny tiny braids so I think that's why I just got a lot of breakage or maybe I left it in too long I'm not really sure but um, I had a lot of breakage so I was like you know what I'm not doing that again let me just make a big braid on the edge of the hair and sew it on and yeah also I did not bleach the frontal um I don't know if you can really see the part that much but like I didn't really see a problem with it. Like, I didn't really think that it was, like, extra light or anything like that. So, or that you could see the lines. I mean, it just looks... I don't know. I never... I, I didn't bleach it. I just left it the way it was. I didn't do anything to this hair. I didn't dye it. I just washed it and put oils in it. That's all I usually do with my hair. And then it usually lasts long. Like, I never had problems with it. Um, another thing that I noticed is that I didn't have any gray hairs, which was a problem at first because with my last bundle I had, um, not that many actually, but like there were a few gray hairs in there that I had to take out when I first bought it. Um, but this time I was like actually looking and I didn't see any at all, which is interesting because even on my old unit, like I could still see like one or two gray hairs on it. And on this one, there is none at all. So that's really good. I'm happy. Um, another thing that I noticed is that, um, when I first started ordering from DY Hair 777, they didn't have, um, their frontals in, um, different textures. They just had straight and then body wave, but now they have loose wave, deep wave frontals, like just a big variety in their frontals. And at first it was just like human hair frontal, but now... You can get Peruvian, Burmese, so it's like you can get the frontal to match your bundles pretty much, which is a really good thing. Um, another thing is the price. Um, they have, I got a three bundle deal for that started at 120 which to me is like really cheap because like at some other places like it was like $400 for three bundles and a frontal, $500. And I don't have that kind of money at all. I'm a student, so. <laughs> but, yeah. So, DY Hair 777 is very affordable, which is a big plus. And usually when you see affordable companies, like, you get these 
um, flaws in the hair and like you're just like, oh, okay, well I didn't really pay as much so it's okay. But this hair is actually really good. Like I love DIY Hair 777 and I haven't ordered from anyone else because I fell in love with their hair. It's very affordable and it looks really nice. And it's shiny but it's not like too shiny. So I just I just love their hair. I mean, yeah. And their customer service is really good. Like as soon as you get on the website, there's like an online chatter person who um just wants to answer your questions like just so you don't order the wrong thing or like just just to help you pretty much. And they even send like this little card to tell you how to take care of the hair, what to use in the hair, information about the hair. Um, so I'm in love with this company and you guys should get hair from them because they're just a really good company. They just have good hair at good prices and yeah. So order your hair from DY Hair 777. Um, another thing is, is that I paid for this hair. I paid 235 for this hair. Yeah. So I spend my own money, so it's not like they're paying me to do a review or anything or sending me free hair or nothing like that. It's all with my own money, so it's my complete honest review. So yeah, you guys should go get this hair. Um, and yeah, thank you guys. Please like and subscribe to these videos.